Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my cancers out there for the week of August 18th to the 24th. So that's from August 18th to the 24th. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and see what the cards have to say. Oh, okay. Some rising Venus, Jupiter, some rising Venus, Jupiter, some cards I need to see. Show me a card I need to see what kind of love is coming towards my cancers during the week of August 18th to the 24th. What kind of love is coming towards my cancers during the week of August 18th and to the 24th in the couple guys? There we go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, interesting. 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 Okay. Interesting. Right off the bat here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, you're a person that's interested in being in a relationship with you right now. They're kind of happy being single by themselves. All right? They're kind of solidarily happy, you know, enjoying their own company sort of thing. But there's something about you <clears throat> that's got them thinking, eh, maybe I need to rethink this whole solidarity happy thing. Okay? So... Um, it looks like what they've been doing is you got the Ten of Cups here. They got the Ten of Cups here. So, um, even though they're happy by themselves, enjoying their own company, um, they've been kind of thinking a lot about, uh, you know, long-term relationship, thinking about having a family and stuff like that. So, um, they're looking to, they're looking to see, uh, they're looking to test the waters a little bit. Plus, we got the death card here as well. In the context of this reading, this means endings and new beginnings. So, it looks like they're, they're looking to end them being single, being solidarity happy with their own company, and looking to kind of reach, you know, kind of looking to begin something new, have a, a new, a turn the page, so to speak, in the book of life. Turn the page and add another chapter of a relationship aspect, you know, family, or with family, etc., etc. So, they're looking to end. Um, they're, they're, they're them being happy and looking to move on in a potential long-term relationship with someone. And that seems to be you. Now, with that being said, in addition here, we have, um, we have the King of Pentacles here. Okay. This King of Pentacles is an Earth sign individual, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And, um... They're looking to pursue again. They're down, down to earth. They seem like they got a, a hold doing their pentacles. They got their money situation squared away, and you know uh, they're moving into calmer waters here. We got the six of swords here. They're moving into calmer waters. Things are kind of slowing down the pace a little bit for them. You know, it, it seems like you know they got a hold on their money situation, and now they're kind of moving more towards a situation where things are kind of calming down a little bit. Um, Kind of slow down the pace a little bit, kind of, kind of, uh, you know, more of a, of, 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 of more of an even kill type of thing. So they're moving to a calmer situation. Now, we got the star car here as well. So they're moving to calmer waters towards a possible renewal of a relationship, a, a new hope, new opportunity, a new love interest. So they're kind of slowing their pace down in their lives a little bit. The kind of and moving it moving into your orbit there and they're looking to really start something the beginning of something meaningful and something deep now with that being said finally here we have a queen of wands that's a, that's a fire sign individual there that is a uh, an aries leo sagittarius now this fire sign individual um, again, they have the ability, to, uh, they have a very vibrating, attractive energy about them, have the ability to attract to them whom they want and what they want. But they've decided to put the brakes on. Hangman. And, and, what, I, and what I'm feeling here is, they, is that, you know, there's all these other suitors around you. And so they were coming at you, but they kind of, either they were coming at you or they were, 
um, really kind of being flirtatious towards you and things like that. And things were just beginning to kind of get started a little, a little bit. And they decided to be like, boom, hold up. There's a little bit too much going on here. So I want to kind of pump the brakes on this a little bit and kind of fade to, the, fade to the back a little bit. So that's what's going on with that situation. So let's see what kind of strengths my cancers are dealing with. What kind of strengths are my cancers dealing with during the week of August 18th to 24th? What kind of strengths are my cancers dealing with during the week of August 18th to the 24th? Some cards you need to see, some cards you need to see. Okay. okay, and right out the gate here we have the judgment card, which is a reconnective energy. So one of your strengths is, again, you, if, if, if uh, a significant other from the past does come into your orbit again, um, you're not opposed to maybe reconnecting with that individual. Um, now, what's interesting here, we got the Ten of Swords card here, too, as well. So, that Ten of Swords card tells me that, um, you know, you've been stabbed in the back before. You've been betrayed. You've been hurt. You've dealt with that. So, you know what that looks like. You know what that feels like. So, well, that's the strength that you have here. Definitely, you, you're able to protect yourself because you recognize the telltale signs of that sort of behavior that sort of that sort of thing happening again you recognize the telltale signs the behavior so forth so you're pretty much on point with that also we got the ace of wands here that is a you know again phallic symbol sexual passion energy creativity um definitely you're you're definitely you have the ability to be very sexually uh passionate um creative there's a lot of there's a lot, a lot of sexual tension here with you, my cancer. There's a lot of sexual tension here, just kind of waiting to go into the right direction. You know what I mean? If you find again, you're waiting for the right person to really unleash a lot of that sexual energy that you have. In addition here to, um, you know, there's also this page of swords energy, which is which can be somewhat of a immature energy at times. Um, and sometimes that immature energy, now the, the thing about the immature energy is sometimes an immature energy, uh, you know, it, it somewhat can be considered, again, these are strengths. So that, that page of swords energy, which was usually looked upon as immature energy, can also be kind of be like a playful energy, keeping things youthful, keeping things fun, you know, uh, uh, not so much immature, you know, pretty much kind of. Keeping things a little adolescent, keeping things on the adolescent side so it's not to be taken so seriously. That type of thing. Um, also, we got the five of swords here. And so, you know, if, if things don't look the way that you're, you need them to look, you're not afraid to walk away. You will, however, uh, give a little bit of thought. You know, should I stay and fight for this situation or should I walk away from this situation? So that's pretty much where you are when it comes to that. Also, we have, we have the empress here. Which empress, again... Um, coming back to the sexual energy past, there's this fertility, there's abundance, there's material happiness there. So there's a lot, a lot of bountifulness which comes in the terms of love and passion. Um, you again, you're just waiting for the right individual to come along, and you're going, and, and, and they'll be the recipient of all that love and all that passion that you have, you know, stored up within you. In addition, here we have the King of Pentacles, which means that. As it stands now, you pretty much got you, you either you're you're in a good place financial wise, or you are absolutely you know, or or, or you're just just straight up balling like you are the master of your finances at this moment in time. You got your eyes dotted and T's crossed, so you're in a very good place when it comes to finances. However, also we got the Queen of Pentacles here. So not only do you make wise decisions when it comes to money, but you also are very grounded and down to earth when it comes to matters of, of, of financial uh, when it comes to financial matters you know you really take care of your pentacles too you know you're very very nurturing and very generous when it comes to your pentacles so not only do you know how to make money and wise with money but you're also very generous you're a very giving individual when it comes in terms of financial uh, uh, finance to other individuals too so in other words you help out other people financially all right so with that being said, let's see kind of what kind of obstacles, what, what kind of um, 
what kind what what could possibly affect uh, the outcome of, of the one of these potential uh, love angels. What, what what things could possibly affect the outcome of these potential love angels? Uh, show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What kind of potential things could affect the outcome of one of these potential love angels here? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Again, you know how to be very nurturing and giving with finances and so forth. I just talked about that. Well, if you come across a situation where uh, uh, you're not able to be generous, you know, with your finance, because I actually feel like you being generous uh, with your finances is an extension of yourself. If you're in a situation where you're not able to be kind of nurturing when it comes in terms of Pentacles and things like that, that's going to be something that you're going to find kind of unattractive. For you with an individual uh additionally here we got the ace of cups and that is again true love uh deep love if there's not a real deep love connection with an individual again there's, there's a lot of sexual tension and energy built up inside of you and you're looking to share that with the right person so again um you're not looking for a booty call you're looking for something that's really going to um meaning meaningful that you can pour your energy and 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 your your energy and invest time with the individual actually means something to you. Um, and finally, here we have the star card representation again: renewal, hope, faith. Again, uh, a renewal of passion. If there's not an opportunity for passion here, then again, a connection with that individual more than just a physical level, although physicality is absolutely a part of the equation there again because there's a lot of stored up you know sexual tension and energy here within you um but you're looking for a little bit more than that like i said more than the booty cost something substantial so uh, again if there's not a sense of passion here a sense of connection again in the sexual realm as well as the emotional realm then that's kind of going to be a deal breaker for you as well so with that being said let's see if the spirits have any additional information they want to bestow upon you before i shut this thing down any additional information you want to bestow before my cancer before I shut this thing down? Any additional information you'd like to give my cancer before I shut this thing down? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, surface, surface. So, <clears throat> again, and this comes right around to, you know, you needing more, looking for more than just a booty call. Um, you, again, Spirit wants to tell you, again, there are faces that people wear and that they're the face that, that's who they really are behind that. And Spirit is telling you, you know, be very cognizant about finding out who a person really is, who they're, what they're really about. Before you go and pull it on, pushing all your time, your passion to an individual. Find out who the real them is. Again, not just the surface. Who they really are. Not just the surface faith that you're seeing. In addition here, we have renewal. Again, we were talking about re, our sense of, uh, with the, with the uh, star card. Renewal. Renewal of hope. Again, renewal of hope. Renewal of faith. A renewal, uh, renewal of a potential love again. Renewal with potential acts that may come into um, back into the orbit again, or just a, 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 a renewal of passion that has been long let dormant because you haven't found the right person. So basically, like I said before, a, a renewal of, of of those long dormant passions. You know, once you find the right individual, it's okay to pour those type of things inside. In addition, here finally we got the expectation card here, and it is okay to have expectations it's okay to have expectations um you expect a certain thing uh you what you ex you do it it's okay to ex to expect things from people um, because you're giving a lot of yourself you're giving your whole self to an individual here so it's okay to have expectations you don't want you want to give yourself over to any old body so it's okay to expect a lot because you're because you're you're intending to give a lot so you want that to be reciprocal 
And so you want to receive a lot as well, and it's okay to have expectations to do so. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down. Hopefully this resonated with you guys. This is a general love reading again, general meaning. It's just an overall reading, and it may not particularly touch on your particular situation per se. So what that means here is if it does, and you want to know a little bit more about your situation, please feel free to get a personal reading so we can kind of dig into it a little bit more um, in detail. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, you still may want to get a personal reading so that we can see, I can look into your particular situation and we can figure it out. All right? So with that being said, my name is Adonis. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.